<laughs> a place of wonders. Jeffrey, thanks for thanks for just all of us being here together. It's just so memorable. It's legend. <laughs> Mark, dude. That was unbelievable. Thank you for your wise selection. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> Happiness in the morning. Homies. Cheers. What are you working with over here? Micah, cheers. Go ahead. Cheers, cheers Micah. Steve. Do you know this dish? Uh, uh, what is A Malay, or would it be Singapore? It's just a selection of pork. Bring it on, baby. <laughs> In an amazing... <laughs> Pork tea. Oh, yeah. That's what it translates pork to in tea. English. Pork tea. Yep. Pork, pork, pork bone tea. And did yeah. I say this was your favorite sauce? And I, yep, just by proportion. And it's where we are starting today. <laughs> That's Mark's style. You can hear him hack, hacking up the, uh, the meat. Okay, so, good morning. Welcome to Goti Ocha. This is definitely one of my favorite restaurants in the whole world. However, this is not my favorite meal that we had today during this epic 48-hour food tour that Mark designed for us. Actually, we go to two places that I could say are my favorite, and we do it in the same day. So yesterday you saw we went to an amazing orchard, the Nipa palm fruits, just mind-blowing. I hope you loved that video. And today I said I was going to take us for the favorite meal of this awesome food tour. So. This restaurant though, being as we visit in the same day, I just thought I would share just a little bit of the fun before we get to the ocean side and we have what I really think is my favorite meal of this entire, I think we went to 12 different restaurants actually, in two days. So enjoy, <laughs> enjoy, see you soon. <laughs> Love the setup up front on those pots in the back over charcoal, almost overflowing. Makes the selection, throws it on the chopping block, he makes up each bowl, and then the soup comes in after. <laughs> so they actually make an amazing common guy as well but the garlic the garlic dude it was foamy it was almost it was foamy kind of foam it was yeah. foam right yeah it's almost like sauce yeah i gotta try that the spices and the bonus i'm not gonna say yet because mark hasn't tried it they have bonus ingredients in there you would not believe it is not just pork oh fried noodles the softness of the pork. They're holding nothing back with this dish. The standard is amazing, but dude, this is just mind blowing. And then I love the bonus inclusion of just the saltiness. How about that where you are? Dude. At this point, I'm about to. Abalone, but if I were you, when I was that close, what about you? Or made move. I would swim, I would, I would grab a swim of the dry one and douse it in a little bit of broth of the wet. Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> Jeffrey immediately said another order of that. Dude. And you did it right, too. One spoon of pork, one spoon of garlic. That's the ratio. Mm. Thing on Mark, yeah. This sauce is for the chicken. Oh, this one? Right, uh, Yeah, that makes sense now. Everyone got yeah. one? Yeah. Unreal. I have no intention of wasting any space. I'm coming down. Is we going to go in the little bowl? Yeah, or just yeah. dig in. There's no real reason to think about anything. There's no way, real way to do it wrong. Just dig in here. What is that? Is that 
same. Ginger, ginger. Oh my yeah. goodness. Same thing happened last time. I was so impressed with the big one. And then they brought out the, the special, the hang. Because in Malaysia, right? in Singapore, it's all, right? it's all about that. But they have a hang version, and that might even be better than the, than the, the OG version. At this point, I'm about to. Abalone? But if I were you, what was that close to what the bucket table? Or made move. <laughs> I would swim, I would, I would grab a swim of the dry one and douse it in a little bit of broth of the wet. That's a good, that's a good move. <laughs> Wait, is this? I'm here to give life advice. Is the, Anybody needs to? <laughs> is this ginger or is it ginseng? Okay, or is it both? Uh, I had a big bite of ginger okay. in this. It was like a huge chunk. I just chewed it up and ate it and it was delicious. Dude. A preference? Bakute hang. Dry version or soup version? I'm a soupy guy. So I like the soup, but they're both excellent. You know the soup is good when all the, the meat chunks remain and the broth is just almost oh, yeah. gone. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. So to finish the pork wonders, seriously, a pork lover would just go to heaven in a place like this. We have some clean, hot green tea. We have the ice green tea, like Malay, Singapore style. But then to finish, back to Chinese, back to the heritage of this, of all these flavors, especially the broth, got the green tea. So we can stay here for Okay, but we're in here. And there's still whole abalones, and the soup is gone. Did you have the abalone? Yeah. yeah, that soup broth is, is unbelievable. Like, that shows you the soup is good. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And getting better. Mm hmm. And that's nothing against the ingredients in the yeah, soup. No. It's just that the broth is insane. Managed to have time for another cup of blue sky yeah. and also catch. Catch Abram enjoying the Golden State Warriors. My first first basketball game in possibly ten years. But go Warriors! I, I'm thinking that kind of chicken's really hard to do. The hot fried chicken? No, the ones that have like clumps of seasoning in the blueberries. Uh -huh. And the chocolate, it's like a chocolate bar full of blueberries. See you on the road. <laughs> ที่จะแนะนําวันนี้ที่อําเมืองสงขาครับคือข้าวมันแกงไม่ใช่ข้าวมันไก่นะมันจะมีแกงไก่ตรงนี้เราก็มีที่ราดที่มีรสชาติเค็มก็คือปลาปลาแห้งอันนี้เป็นกุ้งหวานแล้วก็มีน้ําพริกมะขามน้ําพริกที่เผ็ดตรงนี้ข้าวมันพิเศษตรงที่เขาเขาหุงข้าวใช้กะทินิดนึงมันจะนุ่มรสชาติมันจะพิเศษตรงนั้นลองกินดูครับ I've been trying to make them in Thai just for mandatory practice so I don't forget Thai but it's also fun ที่เมืองไทยผมไม่เคยกินอาหารแบบนี้แต่ที่มาเลเซียครับคนจะใช้มือเอารสชาติมาผสมกันที่มาเลเซียเขาเรียกว่าอะไรครับอ่านาซีละหมักไหมนาซีละหมักนาซีละหมักมันไม่เผ็ดมันไม่เผ็ดเลยคนไทยอาจจะคิดว่าอาหารใต้มันเผ็ดหมดแต่ไม่ใช่มันเผ็ดยังไงครับแล้วก็น้ำอืม it's better as you keep on eating it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she's right. It's good if you mix everything. Yeah. 
ชื่อร้านอะไรบ้านกับตันอำเภอเมืองสงขาลองกินดู We are at the legendary g a i t o d Sophia, opposite g a i t o d Decha, which is the most famous. But this is actually our third g a i t o d The the way that we've done it today, we started with lunch, full lunch, jungle food. We shared maybe 14 or 15 dishes, a huge lunch, and then we've done two doubles. So the first double was some local food in Songkla, and just so sweet. We just had to visit this one older woman, just. She makes some amazing Thai sweets, and then we had the more famous sweets in s o n g k l a Then drove back here to Hat Yai, and we went to the first again, the very sweet older couple making gr- uh, fried chicken downtown. But now we are at the one that Mark says is the legendary spot, Gai t o d Sophia. So opposite the place where Lee and I visited last week, Gai t o d Day Cha. I had no idea we were this close. I mean, it is literally right there to right here. So that is Mark's experience. Sometimes you got to have the nose for it, but sometimes you just got to keep coming back until you know all the local spots. So, g a i t o d Sophia and Mark said you got to be there when it comes out of the oil. You have to be there at 4:00 p.m. <laughs> so we are here at 3:59 p.m. So we are ready. Look, you just see legs. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I love it. The sunshade. You see, she just. Opens right across in the afternoon sun. Do I just look? You just see legs. <laughs> just now there, are six six people's legs. Just. <laughs> Make up. Oh my gosh! You step in. You get in the shade. In the. She also has duck. Oh my gosh! And it is all about the deep friedness with those shallots. If you don't get both the shallots and the deep fried chicken, you do not have. A complete set. You need to have the shallots. Oh my gosh, Mark! Almost no words. Although I am making a video, so I have to attempt to make some words. This place, the fried chicken is incredible. g a i t o d Hat Yai is famous throughout all of Thailand. g a i t o d Hat Yai, Hat Yai style fried chicken. However, although the fried chicken here is amazing. When you taste the shallots, the secret of this restaurant is the shallots—the sweetest little purple shallots you've ever seen. Mm. Oh, it's hot! Mm. Basically, just tear into a piece of fried chicken. Mm. Oh my God! Oh, with the sticky rice and salt, that is. Mm. Oh, you're right. How do you hold stuff like that? It's so it's hot. It's so dude. hot. So do these. These fingers have yeah. been through a lot. <laughs> My, my favorite crab in the world. So we dangerous. are at the final location. This is called Jarun. It's a. You heard the whisper, right? k r u a Jarun. What? Just the name of the chef. Family here. They have the most peaceful spot. This is some of the biggest mantis shrimps I've ever seen in my life. You can hold it. Budong. Oh, thank you. Gang Thod. p a k s o t It is just so peaceful. It's windy almost constantly. As you're driving in, you see all the propellers, the huge wind turbines. But your destination is some seafood and the beach. So beautiful. The waves rolling, but then when the food hits the table, there's another kind of beauty. Another kind of beauty and another kind of silence as we feast. Keeps in the uh, horseshoe crabs. <laughs> there's there's a thing called jenko poisoning. Ooh, what is is this one okay? Or is that yeah, like rotten? Yeah, eat around it. Yeah, it's just it's just all a jungle. It's food. okay. So I can just I can eat the black part too. Peel it back. Peel the black part no, back. That's our that. friend Abram Green. trying jenko for the first time. Yeah. Possibly called luk riang as high well high as l u k m i a n g Here we go. But toxic. If you eat too much. Pretty tasty. I like it. <laughs> It's like Mark, a cousin of the s a t a Do you have the energy to head down to the ocean? Yeah, yeah. we can do it. Seriously, that is a that's a salad right there. I'm just beering for a bit. Can we just spin it? Yeah. Mark, dude. For a bit. Until we find some durian. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. It's okay. Oh, go ahead. Are you doing video? Yeah. Just, just don't know which oh. angle. Oh my okay. gosh! Come here, you. That's funny. Ahead of it. 
Actually, I'd like to. As we've learned well on the trip so far, it is all about the deep fried little crispies that accompany whatever, whatever you're ordering. That is a mantis. Dude, look at that. Just deep fried. The very unique texture on these eggs. I remember I've had it once before a long time ago, and it's a mango salad, the young green mango, and then the sourness. Was that a classic portion egg texture? Wow. Yeah. The sourness is enhanced by those I mean, onions. As well, there's going to be lime juice, there's going to be chilies, garnish with cilantro, fresh cilantro, but then the, uh, <laughs> dude, those crazy looking little yellow balls, those are the horseshoe crab roe. Wow. I don't know. Down to you. Down to you. Don't know what to say. The, uh, it's like hard cheese, right? Do you get that? It's like, you can smell the seafood. Why you think smell the, the ocean, you taste the salt, but it's like, it is straight up cheese. I want juicy, not bouncy. Mm. Like a hundred little egg yolks. Oh, sorry, Joe. Wow. Mm. I didn't even have Oh, that huge collar. There's so much curry base, I can't even see what's going on under there, but I see just from the shape of things breaking under and the size. It's like the really the radius. That collar. Catfish. If you're a kid, you went trick or treating for candy. If someone went trick or treating, we're going to that. It's an alien. Yeah. The pumpkin. Yeah. Kids don't miss that house. Cops will show up 30 minutes later. That's why you trigger finger with the other one. Put a row. Sir, I want the row. The more I shoot insects, the more I really believe they're like the Got some bones. And stuff are so, some they're like the fingers. Sea, right? Now it's finally time insects for the curry. Insects are really similar to shrimp, I think. Do you guys eat like the big spiders that like in Cambodia with the tarantulas? Mm -hmm. oh, I, haven't, I haven't tried that yet. Great. Yeah. It's not nearly as weird as you would think it is. It's like it's just straight up like a crunchy. It's like eating the rodent, like the rat. That's where the combo, the warm and the sour spiciness. The fresh chili and those green peppercorns. Oh man. We got the, the coconut heart. And then that catfish. Oh, the curry. It's all mental. Wow. Just so much, well, turmeric obviously, but cumin leaf, or curry leaf, and then uh, for sure kaffir lime leaf pounded into the curry paste, you can really taste that. for it. Man. So from here, just thanks for hanging out, everyone. All the clips running together today. Tons of action. Maybe on another day, I might have made, tried to make even like three or four stories. We've been to so many places, done so much today. But man, I am just feeling blessed more than anything else. Blessed to hang out with my best friends. Hope you have had a great time hanging out with us too. See you for the next one. Peace, much love, goodbye from the Bay of Thailand. Aotai, Hini, Nafansi, Marat. Have a great day. Later.